Hi, I'm Paul Tursley and this is a demo of PT Multiplane. You can use this script to quickly turn layers into 3D multiplane scenes. Um, so uh, when you get this script to install it, uh, you want to take the script and install that in uh, Artifacts Scripts folder in Script UI Panels. Uh, there it is. So, um, and then when you restart, uh, you'll be able to select it from the window menu here. So, um, also included uh, with the script is uh, some test footage, a piece of layered artwork, which we're going to use um, in this demo. So, um, let's create a new project and import that. Um, so, this is a layered Photoshop file. Um, this uh, is also works well with um, layered illustrator files uh, but also it works with um, text and shape layers um, in um, After Effects as well so uh, we're going to import this using the composition retain layer sizes option uh, before CS5 that was called the cropped layers option um, so here we've imported the um, layered Photoshop file uh, as a composition and um, what I've done is I've gone through and cut out, cut this into, uh, turn this into a multiplane in Photoshop. So, um, so I will have uh, cut out the front layer and then painted it out, and then cut out the next layer, painted that out, and so on. So I've got these um, these four layers, and um, as I said, this can be used for um, not just um, like Photoshop files. So uh, let's create some uh, text. as well so um, we need to use the apply multiplane button to uh, get started here and uh, if you have no layer selected uh, it will t apply it to all layers uh, or if you want to apply it to specific layers you would select those before you hit apply multiplane so um, if I go ahead and click this uh, you can see that uh, it doesn't, nothing appears to have changed. Uh, we've got a camera and we've got these um, uh, layer markers saying multiplane enabled, but everything looks the same. But uh, if we switch this to uh, two views and uh, switch this to a custom view, you can see that uh, it has laid out uh, all these layers in 3D space. Um, while keeping the view unchanged as seen from the original camera position and uh, it's laid these out between these values specified in the palette here so uh, you can um, quite easily uh, experiment with that and change that and um, just keep reapplying and uh, to get these uh, to get it in kind of different ranges in in, uh, in your Z space and um, um, as well as uh, being able to auto lay it out like this, uh, once you've applied uh, multiplane, uh, it applies these um, scale expressions, which um, automatically compensate. So uh, you can move these layers now uh, forwards and backwards in Z space, and um, the they won't appear to change from the camera's original position. So as you can see there, it looks like you can see the text layer is actually getting bigger. Uh, as it moves backwards, the scale expressions are compensating. So this makes it very easy to um, experiment with the depth in your scene, um, move layers around, um, and uh, while keeping your composition the same. But then, um, when you start moving the camera, uh, you'll see that it is, in fact, a 3D scene. So um, I'm just going to, on the camera, I'm going to go to uh, Layer Transform Auto Orient and turn off or in towards Point of Interest, um, which just um, makes the camera easy to control. You um, don't need to worry about the uh, Point of Interest, just uh, Control Position Rotation. So let's just watch that back, put a bit of easy ease on the keyframes. So, um, as I said, you can um, move these layers 
um, forwards and backwards either by dragging the Z um, arrows in the comp window or you can scrub the Z values in the uh, let's move back to the original canvas um, in the um, timeline here and uh, from the original camera position the uh, layers remain uh, looking unchanged um, and um, you can leave this applied but if you then later want to animate the layers you, and you're happy with how you've laid out the multiplane scene you can uh, use this bake button uh, and that will remove uh, the expressions and um, turn the layers back into regular uh, 3D layers um, with the positions re retained. One area where I've used this script a lot is in commercials where we may start off with uh, a like a six frame storyboard which was created uh, as layered artwork um, and then we need to turn that into a say a 30 second commercial. So um, it's not unusual for me to need to stitch more than one multiplane together so I'm going to show you how I would do that. So um, I'm going to create a new composition of the same size and just create a very quick mock-up for a, a shot too. So let's put in a shape layer and some text. And uh, I'm going to scale this text layer. There was um, one improvement in this version is the previous version didn't deal well with layers that had been scaled or animated. Um, already and uh, it worked best with uh, completely fresh layers but um, in this version uh, let's apply multiplane you can see that um, if a layer if it detects a layer has has already been transformed or animated then uh, it will use a null to control the layer instead so you can see that um, it has laid these out um, between the um, values specified here um, but it's using a null to control this layer that had previously been scaled. So, and you've got this layer marker um, multiplane control for layer below. So, uh, so in this case, you would use the null if you wanted to reposition the layer. So, anyway, so uh, let's say we want to now stitch this into the other shot. So, um, when we reach the end position. Let's uh, let's add a bit of rotation here as well. Uh, so let's uh, rotate up and to the right. So let's say when we reach this position, uh, we want to be looking at our um, our other scene. So if we come back into here, so let's um, make sure. Uh, auto orient was turned off and um, so we would need to bake this so um, when you're using null controls I should also say about null controls that um, uh, there, there is this option to always use null controls so um, with that enabled um, let's uh, apply multiplane again and you can see now it uses a null to control all the layers so the uh, the shape layer back here is being controlled by a null now as well uh, so uh, you do have that option uh, to use that if you'd prefer um, with null controller layers to um, to kind of bake the results in uh, you can just simply delete the nulls um, or uh, you can still use the bake option that works as well so um, in order to stitch this into the other shot so we're going to copy these um, select these layers sorry and uh, parent them to the camera and then uh, copy all the layers including the camera and paste them into this comp and then we're going to copy the changed values of the original camera so in this case position rotation and uh, paste them into the new camera and at that point we can delete this camera, it was simply being used to uh, transform uh, the parented layers. So, uh, but we can see here now that when this camera has reached this position it is now looking at the composition uh, and multiplane that uh, was a shot too. Uh, so that gives you an idea of how you can stitch uh, multiple multiplanes together. Okay, so that's the end of my uh, tutorial, so thanks for watching.